Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to the Hills Hiller Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. This channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, self-actualization, and aligning to meaning and purpose in life. So if that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place, at the perfect time, for the perfect reason. All we have is the now, so whenever you come across this reading, it is indeed the perfect time for you. However, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. This is a general collective energy read for the soul's journey. So as we're moving out of the 1111 portal, today is 1112, 2022, which breaks down to an energy of 29, transitions into an energy of 11, transitions into an energy of two. So it's all about choices today. So I thought it would be a really good idea to kind of get a general look at where the collective is along the soul's journey. So this is a soul journey reading. And at the end, we're going to do a pick a card. So you can pick a number from one through three, whichever one resonates more significantly with you. One, two, or three. And so we'll be pulling that energy at the end for a little bit more of a twist on what this soul journey reading is talking about you, for you. We're going to be looking at the energy that you're sitting in and then also culminating energy and what the brand new beginning is. So you want to make sure you come to this reading with your soul journey journals so that you can write down your journaling prompts and your affirmations for a little bit more of a deep dive into exactly what this reading means for you. So we're going to cleanse the energy space and tune in and tap on our energies together. I'm going to ring the singing bowl, but I want you to take a deep breath in and hold for however long it feels comfortable for you. Release that breath. And with releasing that breath, I also want you to release any expectation that you have for this reading. Release any tension that you have built up anywhere in your body. Continue to breathe in and breathe out. And I want you to bring to your mind's eye what it is that you came to this reading for more clarity, more insight, and more understanding about. But I also want you to be open to whatever messages come through as they are for your highest good and your greatest soul's emanation. Let's go ahead and cleanse the energy space. Tune in and tap on together. Let's begin. Current energy for the collective spirit. What does collective need to know in this here and now? Where is the collective along the soul's journey? And what do they need to know? As we transition into brand new beginnings. What does the collective need to know for their highest vibrational good? And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. All right, beautiful souls.
The first energy that we have coming out is the Knight of Wands. This is the energy in the energy of the magician. So you are finding your inner muse and creating from an inner creative spark. You're creating something unique. This is something that you have a lot of passion and a lot of um, enthusiasm about, but this is something that you also find very pleasing for your soul. So you're manifesting a lot of happiness in your life. You're manifesting a lot of grand, great new beginnings and things that really fulfill you at a soul's level. What's coming in? In the energy of the High Priestess, you have the energy of Five of Wands. So intuitively, you know that there's a lot of competition around you. Intuitively, you know that there may be, you know, people that are uh, competing with you. That you're kind of inspired by you. They're looking at you and what it is that you're doing and how you're evolving and moving. And there's a little bit of competition around, you know, people want to kind of level up with you. But you intuitively know this. So this is just an energy that's coming through that says intuitively you know what's going on around you, that there may be lots of competitions. Maybe there's a lot of people who are eyeing you, what it is that you're doing, and just kind of trying to mimic or figure you out in some way, shape, or form. I'm not really feeling a lot of um, aggression, but more so of a, a like hidden secret admirers and hidden people who are trying to compete with you that you don't even real that you don't even realize that they're competing with you but you kind of intuitively know that people are trying to compete with you even though they're you're not in the competition what you're manifesting with your creative energy yeah you're manifesting in hmm and i wonder if this is because you're moving at the beat of your own drum you're following your own inspired inspirations and passions, but the energy of in your energy of impress, what you're creating, what you're manifesting, there's the energy of the devil. So you could be attracting in a lot of negative energy. I guess spirit was like, mm, I don't know. Maybe it is a little bit negative. Maybe it is a little bit hostile. So there could be a lot of people. I'm getting now definitely a lot of energy of jealousy and envy around you. Whatever it is that you're creating is drawing a lot of tension, but it's definitely not positive attention. It's a little bit on the negative side. Let's continue to see. We might have to clarify some things. The three of wands, because things are materializing for you. In the past, things may have been a little bit slow to get going or slow to take off. But now you're like, Phew, you're jet setting. Things are manifesting. Things are growing. People around you are seeing it. And now you're drawing in a lot of negative attention because there is a lot of envy and competition around you. And you're materializing exactly what it is that you put or set out to materialize. Exactly what it is that you wanted to manifest is coming to fruition. And I think other people are seeing that. You're in this energy of magic mastering your own reality. You're really focused on yourself with this night energy, a lot of fire and passion energy. You're really just focusing on yourself and following through with your heart desires. But people are on the outside looking in a little bit of jealousy. I'm getting a lot, you know, I'm really feeling that because they're inspired by you, even though they kind of secretly hate, they're inspired by what it is that you're doing. Five of Pentacles energy. This is in the Hierophant, space of the Hierophant. It's about lessons of loss, lessons of being left out, being rejected, feeling abandoned, feeling alone. There's some kind of lesson here that needs to be learned about being able to be self-sufficient and to fill your own cup from the inside out. There's an energy here that says that there's a higher level or a higher meaning and a higher purpose for why things happen the way they do. Where you may feel as if though it's rejection, it's definitely divine protection. And what I'm thinking that divine protection is coming from the energy of this devil here. There's some sense of needing to have some kind of divine protection from somebody who is in your energy field. They could even be waiting and wanting you to come back or return in some way, shape or form. But they want to cage you in or kind of put a hold on you so that you can't manifest and grow in a new direction. I think this is a lesson that you're really picking up on and learning now as well. But you're changing your perspective on what it means to be alone and kind of coming to a realization that you're never alone. 
that you always have the divine with you at all times. And that's the key, right? Coming in in the space of the Hierophant, this is the lesson that you need to learn in this now, that you're never alone, you're always divinely guided and protected, and that you have all of the knowledge and the tools within you to create change, to move from a space of lack to a face, space of fulfillment. All you have to do is choose, coming in in the space of the choice. Coming in in the space of the lovers, all you have to do is choose what it is that you love, what you're inspired to do, and move towards that. Regardless as to what is going on, I'm getting my against all odds energy, like the nine of wands energy is coming through. Even though you have a lot of, you know, um, negative energy around you, toxic energy around you, it doesn't mean that you can't move away from it. You have the choice to change the narrative as well as to change your circumstances and the situation by moving in a different direction. And I think that's why the magician energy is coming out with the Knight of Wands that says the power is within your control to do whatever it is that you choose to do. If you want to move in a new direction, move in a new direction. Follow your intuition. You already know what is being manifest and create in this situation here with the hostility, with the competition, with the, you know, um, need to be in charge or in control. Everyone is out for their own gain, right? There's no collectiveness here with the Five of Wands energy. And maybe that brings you sadness, right? Because this is something that you could have felt was going to ascend to a higher level or be something that was going to be strong or, you know, something that was going to stand the test of time with that four of pentacles energy. And now that has all come crashing down. That's no longer the case, but you've realized, right? You've realized something here with this three of wands that you can create something different. You don't have to settle is how this energy is coming through. Two of wands energy, choosing a new direction, choose what it is that you love. How are you moving forward with the chariot energy? Look at that, the 10. <laughs> I love it. You have the Wheel of Fortune coming in, which is saying you're moving forward victoriously, abundantly, and prosper pros prosperously. The other beautiful thing about the wheel is about the destiny. This is something that was destined to take place. This is the learning experience for you that you don't have to settle, that you are the master of your manifestation realization and you can create whatever it is that you desire and that you don't have to settle for anything and anything that you don't like, you always have the power within you to make a different choice and move forward. And now there's forward move coming with the chariot energy. That's the energy of maturity. That's the energy of learning the lesson and being able to take that lesson and now use it to move forward with success. So what's coming in in the strength energy, moon energy? So now we have the intuition coming out again and the energy of strength moving forward, even though you don't see what's coming next, which is really beautiful. Following your intuition, needing to let your intuition guide you through this time. There are things that about yourself that you're learning that you didn't quite know. And I'm thinking it has to do with just how strong you are, just how capable you are, just how determined you are. You are a spark of just magnificence for a lot of people around you. So with everything that's positive and purposeful also brings in an energy of, you know, a little bit of negativity or a little bit of condemnation in a, in a sense. Because of the light that you exuberate, it really brings out in other people either positive aspects and traits of themselves or shadow aspects and traits of themselves that they need to work on. That's that mirroring energy. I'm, I'm back to the two, um, the high priestess energy for some reason, like mirroring energy here. There's a lot of mirroring out energy and you're realizing that energy. You're reflecting on it. You're emotional about it because you're beginning to see maybe the shadow aspects of people and things. And it kind of makes you feel a little bit disappointed, a little bit alone. But the journey, right? The journey to self-actualization and fulfillment is in part a very introspective, very reflective, very solitary journey. It's a journey that's done within 
regardless as to what the external environment looks like. And I'm thinking that that's what the strength energy is saying, that this is a journey that you have to take from within the inside to find your passion, to find your inner muse, to find your inner, um, not magician, but your inner magnificence to really show up in your fullest form and to feel comfortable doing it. But it's going to be an internal journey for you, for your out ex external or outward self-expression. Coming in in the energy of the hermit. Is this two cards? I like this energy coming in here because it lets me know that you're coming into fulfillment of your own. This is a beautiful energy to have here. The um, Queen of Pentacles coming in and the Hermit energy. It's letting me know that this is a journey of choice. The introspection, the deep soul searching, the shadow work. This is something that you're doing because you know your value. You know your worth. You know what you bring to the table. This is an energy of not settling. I was getting that up here with this Five of Pentacles energy. It's an energy of not settling, knowing what you deserve and not settling for anything less. The hermit knows the vow, their value and worth. They allow their internal light to guide them. They don't look for external validation from the world. They've already validated themselves, their connection with their inner self, their higher self, the connection with the divine and all that is has validated them. And so the queen of pentacles already knows what she has, already knows what she has to offer. Very loving, nurturing, safe and secure bodied energy, but also very loving, nurturing and supportive, very helpful, very resourceful, and also very authentic and reliable as one in the same because they know thyself, right? There's that energy of knowing thyself here with the queen of pentacles energy, knowing your value, knowing your worth. And in the energy of the wheel, wheel of fortune energy we have this energy of healing healing from 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 some kind of difficult experience healing from some kind of energy of loss sorrow grief mending one's own heart how this energy is coming through and that's what's helping you to move forward well that's why this growth has gone forward because you're able to let something go you see it for what it truly really is you've learned the lesson is how i'm getting here with the hermit energy you have learned the lesson or the lesson here for you to learn is that rejection is god's protection and that all you have to do is choose to be happy choose a new direction in order to have fulfillment and this healing takes place justice energy yeah Whoever betrayed you, snaked you, deceived you, lied to you, may even be sitting in this energy of waiting for you to come back. Wanting to keep you captive because they see your power. They see your worth, right, with the Empress energy. They see how valuable you are. And that's what they wanted to take from you, your value, your energy. Your power is what I just heard. But that's all being illuminated now. You can see it very clearly for what it was. And it's being karmically balanced out for you by the universe in this energy of justice. Hanged man position. As the energy balances out, somebody's now trapped. Somebody is now trapped in whatever guilty lies web they, they weaved. Because now there's the energy of guilt, shame, and remorse being tied up in this energy of their own lies and betrayal. And that's coming in up under the Five of Pentacles energy. Rejected, abandoned, left out in the cold. The Eight and the Five energy culminates to the energy of 13, a complete ending that liberates you. And that's why you come in in this energy of the Knight of Wands, liberated and freed as well as elevated with this Wheel of Fortune energy. So let's see what's coming in here. Somebody here is can't move forward because of this energy here. Repentance is key. This is the energy of death and transformation. Repentance is key. Forgiveness. Surrendering, completely surrendering and releasing. 
we have the energy of four swords come in back to back. This is the living, learning, living, and mastery here. You've learned this lesson. And now that you've learned the lesson, you can move forward about how to overcome complicated, difficult, antagonistic energies, how to manifest and create a new reality, how to break yourself free from bondage, from hardships, from difficulties, having the key and the ability to choose a new reality. No matter how scary it may have been, no matter how scary it may have felt, being able to have the strength to push past it, to push through it, because you know your value and your worth. You've healed from your own, healed your own wounds from people who try to manipulate you, lie, cheat, steal, keep you tied up. Now they, what they intended for you, they now reap. Right. Justice energy. You reap what it is that you've sown. If you sown this energy, seven of swords energy, now you're reaping that energy back. So there's a need for repentance here because there has definitely been a complete ending to something. And the universe is really saying that their forgiveness is key in order for you to move on. Temperance energy coming in here. I love temperance. I love the nine of wands. This is my um, against all odds, against all odds card, the nine of wands against everything that you've been through, all of the difficulties, all of the hardships, all of the losses, you know, all of the obstacles, the battles you've persevered. And through this energy of perseverance, you've accomplished against all odds and you've still maintained balance. You still maintain that energy of being humble, of being grateful, giving on to others as you would have them do on to you. And that's why your blessings are coming in because of the energy that you sit in. This is a warrior spirit here, somebody who's noble, dependable, reliable, righteous, as well as victorious as well. Beautiful. So let's see what's in the devil energy. Two of cups. <laughs> you cannot make this up. There was too much competition in your relationship. Whoever your <clears throat> divine partner is. Um, doesn't matter gender. Whoever your divine partner is. Could be Capricorn energy. We have Sagittarius energy out here on the board. Cancer energy. Capricorn energy twice. Um, Whatever, whoever this person is to you, it was related to a soul tie or a connection. A soulmate energy here was coming in as the devil. And that's why there was no growth because of that negative energy, the toxic energy here. And that's what you're realizing, coming to the reali realization of something that was unstable in and out. But it caused you to evolve and grow. And to put up the appropriate boundaries to protect what it is that you're materializing, manifesting what you're creating in your own world, choosing a new reality for yourself. And now you're in this energy of complete independence, complete fulfillment, very stable, very self-assured. But this energy here is still in your environment, right? This connection still exists, rather not physical, it's emotional. It could also be in the 5D in very spiritual connection here. Look at that hermit energy. So what's coming out, the hermit energy up underneath the space of the hermit energy. And it's coming in in the energy of the tower. That somebody is really taking their energy back and gone within. It's shocking to somebody. And I want to say that it's your counterpart energy. Now we have Virgo energy on the board. Somebody is completely shocked about your change, change in position, change in, in direction, how you're moving in your life. It's like you're working on you with the Queen of Pentacles energy, working on yourself, loving yourself, nurturing yourself, healing yourself, blocking out and cutting out anything that is only bringing deception. That's only trying to bind you, bring you poverty and loss. But you're doing it with complete grace and forgiveness with that warrior energy, just persevering and moving forward in balance. Which is beautiful. Hmm. I love it. 
somebody shocked about it just how powerful you are you're you have this energy of elevating above the influence of elevating at a very high vibration and that's what brings in all of this envious energy as well because of how high you elevate because of your light is coming through significantly so let's see in this star energy yeah wishing and hoping is queen king of swords energy Somebody that you could have had very much of a conflict or a battle with because they're coming in up underneath this double energy, a need to heal or withdraw your energy from, a need to balance things out. This is an energy that says somebody wants to communicate. They still have hope and dreams for something to be together, to come together. But this is also an energy for me that talks about knowledge of self. You've learned everything that you need to learn. You've come to the energy of discernment. You're very clear, right? Look at all the energy that he has. He has the bat. He has the crow. He has what looks like a butterfly for transformation. He also has the owl. It's like you cannot see any more than that. You can see in the spiritual world. You can see all things in the darkness. You can hear vibration. You're transformed. This is a very high vibrational energy level of attunement with source and self. So this is the energy of knowledge of self, knowing what you will and what you won't allow. This is awakened you, right? With that nine, with the hermit energy. This is complete enlightenment and awakening. You've been awakened to who you authentically are. And this is Aquarian energy here. You're very in tune. You're very aware and you make decisions from that space of knowing, from the space of the connection with your higher self, your intuition. I'm getting also your spirit guides with all of this um, bird and, and, and spirit energy around. There we go. And the moon energy. Back to the moon energy. It was where strength. And in the energy of the moon, there's this energy of sadness, sorrow, very, very deep emotions, needing to have the strength to overcome these emotions, to overcome this sorrow. This is something that you may or may not know, especially if you're connected to someone else, because this could be hidden energy. That there's so much sadness, especially if you haven't healed from that sadness energy yet. This is where the change is, which says to me that you have healed, but the energy around you may not. May still be sitting in this sorrow energy, locked, needing to have the energy of forgiveness as well. But there's still something toxic here about the way of thinking because the energy that comes up with the devil is still this energy of toxicity. It could be obsession. And then we have the energy, yeah, five of cups coming in up under the eight of swords and the five of pentacles. Sorrows, guilt, remorse, sadness, perpetuated energy. And this is what's being illuminated in the light. So this is the awareness that you're coming into, that there's somebody around you that's very sad. I'm not feeling this as your energy, but somebody around you is sitting in a lot of sadness, a lot of misery. And it has to do with the connection, a connection that has been severed and lost, that is no longer there. And there's a lot of sadness and pain around it. I'm picking that up a lot, especially with this moon energy. And then now we have the energy of where the sun would be. There's sadness in the sun. There's no sunshine when you're gone is what I just heard. And the magician energy takes us back to the Knight of Wands. Having judgment, right? So this is the energy of someone who couldn't figure out what they wanted. That played a lot of mind games. That had a lot of, uh, you know, competition going on. That was in the energy of... Um, I'm getting like a uh, greed, but also um, self-satisfaction, you know, very selfish energy is coming through with this Knight of Wands. And now that energy is under judgment. Whoever this master manipulator magician energy was is under judgment. If anybody was trying to 
fadangle you or manipulate you or take advantage of you in some way, shape or form. That may have been hot and cold with you in and out. That never made it clear exactly what they felt about you or opened up to you. You've already stepped into your energy or your value and worth. You're elevating at a higher vibration and you cut out all of the nonsense, all of the negativity. But this energy is still in your energy field and they're trying to manifest you back. Yeah, they're trying to manifest you back, trying to manifest a return, trying to manifest that draw you in. They do want some kind of transition and change, but this situation is over. Look, it's a sword. Spirit said it is over. It is done. The world energy moving forward, moving on from whatever this heartbreak was, whatever this difficult situation was, you're moving forward and spirit is guiding you. And I'm very much feeling that with the Ten of Swords energy. You've healed, transmits death, and this is the culminating energy of the world. You've moved on, you've transitioned, you've released, and you've also healed through the process. So what is your new journey, beautiful soul? Look at this, the star energy. I love it. Whatever it is that you desire, your star energy, you've wised up. You are, you have complete full knowledge of yourself. Very authentic spirit very in tuned, very highly enlightened as well, which I love. So in that energy, you're moving forward, you know, with that star energy, standing in your own personal power, which I love about um, the King of Swords. The King of Swords is definitely a very strong, very strong willed energy and you're standing in your personal power and you're moving forward towards whatever it is that you're destined to be doing. So let's take a look and see what is this destiny looking like for number ones. For those who pick number one, you have balance. Number 40, the tree, let them go. Number 18, and the energy of 41, gratitude is the life force of peace. What are you thankful for? That's your energy vibration. Gratitude is the life force of peace. What are you grateful for? So let's take a deeper look at this balance energy. Balance energy is the energy of 40. Spiritual stability, standing firm. The priestess of balance walks a steady line, looking ahead, yet staying centered. This card is telling you that restoring order and balance in your life will be important at this time. So take a good look at the energy and the effort you expend every day. If something, if something's disproportionate, it may cause you to lose your center, your stamina, and even your peace of mind. Ask yourself, are you engaging in too much work and not enough fun? Too much taking care of others and too little caring for yourself? What about practical matters? Are you eating healthfully, drinking enough water? Are you getting enough muscle movement and peaceful relaxation? All of these approaches can easily be abandoned when you get busy or stressed, but those are precisely the times when you need stability and balance the most. Notice the light in the palms of, th of, this pre of the priestess right and left receptive and active and energized extending up universal connection she displays an equal focus on yin and yang energy and calls for you to become more energetically conscious if you tend to be passive it is time to stand firm and support your own higher intentions yet if you tend to be active with little or no reflection on meaning or purpose now is the moment to look inward and find some balance there you can achieve balance simply by paying attention to the needs of your daily life when you make choices and honor your body, spirit, and personal prosperities, you create the stability and stamina necessary to see you through to fruition and your greatest dreams and desires. Your affirmation, number ones, I have the power to prioritize myself. I choose to live a balanced, healthy, and honoring life every day. Affirm it in the comment section. I have the power to prioritize myself. I choose to live a balanced, healthy, and honoring life every day. Beautiful tree energy says, let them go. That's the energy of the moon. 
Number twos. What does number twos have? We have the energy of abundance, fortune, wealth, and plenty. Number 23. We have protests to start a revolution. The 28 culminates to the energy of 10. And what's in the energy of 10? Right here, healing is in the energy space of 10. And then number three. You cannot make a mistake. There are infinite possibilities available to you. Where is your heart guiding you? Where is your heart guiding you, number twos? Protest. Start a revolution. If you're passionate about something, speak up about it. The energy of abundance is the energy also of 28. Oh, wow. You got two 28s. Mm, this is definitely talking about following your spiritual path, beautifuls. Definitely talking about following your spiritual path. Abundance, fortune, wealth, plenty. The goddess of Lakshmi holds out her hands in divine offering, and the universe responds with such abundant blessings that gold coins come cascading down. The gold in her gown and on her neck, ears, and wrists shines with the light, with the life-giving light of the sun which radiates upward from the top of her head. She is the light of the world, bringing boundless generosity. This pretends to time of great joy and receptivity for you. The prosperity you've been longing for is coming your way. An investment may pay off or an unexpected windfall may appear. But even if the increase in wealth comes slowly at first, the abundance is sure to expand as you allow yourself to focus on the present value already in your life. Always remember that value comes in many forms there is good fortune in nature, friendship, and the simple moments of small joys. This grateful awareness will shine in your life like the sweet violet aura around Lakshmi's luminous being. At her feet, baby elephants herald and the arrival of true prosperity, bringing with them an energy of strength and peaceful certainty. This card is telling you to rest assured for great joy and prosperity will soon be expanding throughout your life. Your affirmation number twos. I open my mind and my life to the blessings of the universe. Unlimited wealth is coming to me in wonderful and unexpected ways. Affirm it in the comments section, beautiful. I open my mind and my life to the blessings of the universe. Unlimited wealth is coming to me in wonderful and unexpected ways. I love it. And number threes. Number threes have the energy of five. Clarity. Planning. Releasing. Illusion. Thorns. Weave together the crown you deserve. Mm. Picking yourself back up, mamas and, and guys. Papa's picking yourself back up from the I'm getting a lot of shock a root chakra energy picking yourself back up learning to love yourself again from the inside out beautiful that's going to create the stability that you need and then you have the energy of 43 rest renew recharge what does your body crave and need right now what does your body crave and need right now Thorns weave together the crown you deserve and your energy vibration for five. Your messages for number threes for five, which is talking about clarity. Planning, release, and illusion. The Eagle Priestess heralds a time of productivity and clarity for you. This card is telling you to sharpen your focus on your own goals right now. You have the vision now. Make your plans and set them in motion. Think of how the Eagle's lofty perspective allows it to see far off prey and adjust its actions, anticipating changes before they arise. Real plans, not just fantasies are called for so get clear about your goals and what it will take to achieve them this newfound clarity requires you to release any present or past illusions you've been holding on to these may be false assumptions about situations or people in your environment so be honest with yourself about others intentions and about your own plans and their potential outcomes illusions also sometimes encompass deeper aspects of yourself even if you think you no longer carry old hurts or miss 
for or misinformation. You may be subtly influenced by fears and limitations. You've unwittingly accepted as truth. The ego calls you to look deep within and reclaim your inner strength. As you do so, your true power becomes more clearly, more clearly. <clears throat> directed and your creativity starts to take shape the vibrant gold color surrounding the ego signifies greater mental activity and brightness of mind great value is coming to your life don't be surprised to find that time before you opening up with new ideas accuracy inspiration and even prosperity it's time to get clear about who you are what you want and how you're going to get there this card is telling you Plan, prepare, and prosper. Your affirmation number three is, I release illusion and confusion. I think clearly, focus on my plans, and let my life shine. Affirm it in the comment section. I release illusion and confusion. I think clearly, focus on my plans, and let my life shine. That has been your soul journey and where you are right now, beautiful souls. This, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I am truly honored and always grateful. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that like button. Share these videos with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn, grow, and expand together. Working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul pass cross again, Soul Joiners, I am wishing you love peace, happiness, blessings, and abundance be on to you. Have a blessed and abundant day. Namaste.